Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shubham Anvekar and in, this is the part 2 of ICT Mentorship 2016 and in today's video, we are going to understand the learning process. How your learning process should be. If you have new to my channel and watched my previous video on learning ICT 2016 Mentorship easiest way possible. If you guys watch any trading related videos from anyone, if you guys watch any trading related videos from anyone, don't expect it to work for you. Okay, so understanding the process, how the learning process works. This learning process is based on my experience of 8 months of trying to learn ICT, okay, 8 months, the time I have given to learn ICT concepts, okay. So, first step is being patient. So, first, first step is being patient, okay. Don't try to learn everything in one day. Give yourself 2 months. I'm promising you guys, give yourself 2 months. In 2 months, you will become the best trader you have ever imagined about, okay. The second step is understanding concept. What is the, the second step? You guys watched my last video and you understood something. What did you understand? The understanding is that market expands from an order block, market expands from a stop end. There are two expansions that happen with expansion from an order block and expansion from a stop end. Also, you understood that market comes to the fair value gap, fills the fair value gap in the form of retracement and then expands. Market comes back to the fair value gap, retraces into a fair value gap, and then expands. And the fourth thing you guys learned is market comes into the 50% of the consolidation to break the upper side of consolidation, and market come, comes into 50% of the pre, of the consolidation to break downwards. Means it comes into discount of the consolidation to go up, it comes into the premium of consolidation to go down. So that is the understanding. So now when you understand a particular concepts, your job is to backtest it in the live market. Means, so now the day has finished. Later in this video, I will show you how you guys should analyze, okay? Analyze the charts. Backtest in the live market after the day is finished. Once the day is over, your job is to see how market, how market played out. If you can't understand, it's okay. Come and identify it next day, okay? So now, once you identify it, how market has worked, now, I'm doing this backtesting process for around one or two weeks. After that, when you become confident that you can analyze it in back uh, in uh, end of the day, now practice doing it before the day, okay? Means before the market happens, you should have analysis, okay? This is the fair value gap, market should come into 50, okay? This, you say, this is the fifth fair value gap. And if market wants to keep on going down, it has to come into the 50% of this range and it has to go down. That's the analysis you have to do and market did not do that. Market did not do that. Write that down, write this down. Okay, I was expecting this to happen, but market did not behave like that. And market kept on going down, 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 down. Now, what happened was, okay, I saw another fair value gap over here. I saw another fair value gap and I was expecting if market wants to keep on going down, market should come into this fair value gap and then go down. Okay, market came into this fair value gap and then went down. So, the fair value gaps are working. Okay, the fair value gaps are working. So, why over here? Write this down. Okay, this was Asian session and, I, and in Asian session, market did not come into premium and went down. Just, just write this out. Just make this observation and write it in a journal. And this is how you build your journal day by day. Okay. Okay. Over here, this is 10, 9.30 a.m. and 10, like 10 o'clock candle where there was, I guess, some news. I have no idea. Okay. So, market comes into this fair value gap in the, during the time of session. Like, stock market open and market comes into the fair value gap and market reverses. So, this is how you do forward testing. Now, when you do that, write this down in your journals. Writing this, all the things here. Okay. Market, I think, I guess. This is Asian session and that is why in Asian session it did not come over here and went down. So what will happen, okay, today you made this observation that there is a fair value gap and because market is in Asian session, it did not come into this. You Over here, what will happen? In Asian session, it will come, it will fill the fair value gap. What? You made an observation that in Asian session, it, it's not filling and same day what will happen? In Asian session, it will fill the gap. So that's how you will do contradictions about your about your own analysis, but writing it down. I'm not saying you don't have to be right every single day. You have to practice of being wrong every single day. Practice being wrong. It's okay. Learn the concept of it is okay if I am wrong. Because as humans, we don't want to be wrong anytime. We, if we take a trade, trade has to work. That's the mentality of a beginner trader. But practice being wrong. That will help you big time. Okay. Now build the confidence. Okay. Build the confidence with the analysis that will come after two or three months of your observations, right? So now let's coming to the important point, understanding what all observations I did, okay? How you could have take, took these observations. So now first we will do observation for over here, okay? Market is coming down, 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 down over here. So what do I see? I go on five minutes chart. What do I see over there? First, understanding what you have learned. You have learned about expansion. What do you guys see over here? Order block. You see order block. 
order block is before 7 a.m. starts. This is 7 a.m. Okay, over here. 7 a.m. starts. This is 7 a.m. candle. Now, order block. Market is coming down. Market is coming down, down, down. Means market is coming into discount. What happens? Market goes up, creates order block, comes into order block, and then expands. Market is respecting the order block. Stop thinking, okay, which order block should I focus on? What is this? What is that? Nope. First, observe the market. Market respected this order block and went up. Okay. So now what happened? Another thing you guys can see over here, this. You see, this is a small order block. Let me take this out. Let me take this order block out and focus over here. This is a small order block. What happened? Market did not respect this order block and still it expanded. How did it expand? It expanded with what? Stop. Understand? First, in first case scenario, it worked. Order block worked. Okay, order block work. And in second example, what happened? Market expands with stop hunt. Means with this example, what do you understand? What do you understand is let's say you are an order block trader. Okay, let's say this market comes to an order block and you execute your orders and market goes up. And in second example, what happens is you are still an order block trader. You are still an order block trader. Your stop loss, your your trade is over here. You enter over here, your stop loss is over here. So what are you practicing? You're practicing the order block expansion and you're practicing a stop hunt expansion. You guys know market will react after the order block and after the stop hunt. Practice entering at a stop hunt. Build, you will lose, try to lose small and build confidence over, uh, over like trading stop hunts. Knowing this concept is not, uh, not enough any use if you can't execute with that concept. So now what happens? Let's understand this sell side move. Let's understand the sell side move. What you guys can see? Imagine market goes up and this move has not happened. And market is coming down, down, down over here. What do I go? I go on 30 minutes chart. When I go on 30 minutes chart, what do I see? I see a bearish order block over here. I see a bearish order block. And also what do I see? I see a fair value gap. I see a bearish order block and I see a fair value gap. Right? So this is how what you do, which order book should I which order block should I follow? The order block you follow is the higher time frame. On 30 minutes, do you see anything? Nope. On like on one hour, you don't see anything. On 30 minutes, you see a bearish order block, right? A bearish candle before the down move. When you see that, what do you do? You enter at a bearish order block. Just practice. I'm not trying to teach you which order block will work, which order block will not work. What do analysis like this? Do analysis. Okay, I see a bearish order block on 30 minutes because on one hour I can't see it. On 30 minutes I see it. This is I am teaching you guys how to analyze and how to journal in the markets. How to analyze and how to journal in the markets. Now what I'll do is I will enter at over here first sell. I will enter a sell trade over here and I'll keep a stop loss above the order block. Okay, and I'll expect market to go down. This is the analysis you do and market stops you out. What we'll do? Market will stop you out. Once market stops you out, what you will do is you will enter at over here again. You will enter over here once again. Now you trade back down. You trade back down. What did I say? If you see this order block, there is a higher order block, higher order block or a fair value gap on the upside of the order block you have analyzed. What you have to do is many people can see this order block. People are going to stop you out and what is... So... If you guys have learned something from this video and want to see what and want to learn how to sell over here, how to buy over here and want to learn it from me personally, you can contact me on Telegram and I charge for the mentorship. This is one on one mentorship where I give you my personal attention and teach you everything from scratch to the like to the advance. Okay, where after this session, you will not have to learn from any other courses. You don't have to spend any time watching any videos on YouTube. I will decrease your learning process from this much amount to only three hours give me three hours of your life give me three hours of your life and i will make you an independent trader if you like the way i teach 